Good afternoon, YouTubers. We are back at the farm pond, and yes, I know I've been fishing here a lot lately, but I've been hooked on a topwater bite, and I've just been having so much fun doing it, I don't want to stop. Um, but don't worry, we'll be going uh, trout fishing up here, northeast eye around Backbone and all that. We'll be camping up there, so I'll have some trout fishing videos here soon. But back to today, I'm going to start the day off using a whopper plopper. I don't know how well this is going to work here because um, all the way around this pond is about four feet to eight foot um, sea mat all the way around the edge. So I don't know how these uh, treble hooks are going to hold up to that. Probably going to get snagged a lot. And if that's the case, I'm going to switch to a topwater buzz bay or my arch nemesis, the topwater frog, which I'm not very good at setting the hook at. And yes, I know it is totally the wrong time for top water, middle of the afternoon on a bright sunny day, when normally you'd do this on an overcast day or early in the morning or late in the evening. But like I said, I've been hooked on top water and that's what I wanna do. So wish me good luck and we'll see how the Whopper Popper does. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. Had a strike. First cast in the Whopper Plopper right there in front. First cast. Let's see if we can get him again. Well, this has been pretty uneventful so far. I can't even make fun of myself because I haven't got any bites I've missed to make fun of. I like how this one, my other Bobber Popper I had that I lost in Canada was better than this one, I think. It, it stayed on top better. There's one. Oh, I missed it. Oh, okay, there I am with me, my crappy topwater skills again. Now I can make fun of myself. I just missed a decent one. I'm gonna throw it back in there here in a second. But then I'm an even bigger dumbass and got my lure all tangled up in my pole hair. So oh, I suck play pretty much. Let's see if I can get in here. So I cast my lure in the wrong spot. Life is great. So far I'm not real enthused about my whopper plopper I got here. There's one. Got one. There's one. Little fella. It's still a bass. Hey, I caught one on the whopper plopper, folks. I didn't think I was going to do it. I thought I was going to get all the way around the whole pond without getting one, but he ain't landed yet. Ooh, he's stuck in the weeds. Oh, he's stuck in the weeds. Oh, I still got him on there. There he is. Not too bad. Got him pretty good. Oh, your hook's good. I'm gonna have to get the pliers out, I think. 
There we go. Uh, not a monster, but not too bad on the Whopper Plopper for a middle afternoon. All right, I can't really get out there because it's all water right here. So I'm just going to give him a nice little toss. And he's gone. All right. Well, we got one down the Whopper Plopper. We got... I'm going to finish going around the pond so we can't get another one. Then we'll switch to the buzz bait, see if we get one on that. Then we'll try a frog. All right. So, we got one on the Whopper Popper, but that's it. And I think the Whopper Popper's done. We are... going oh, to switch to the buzz bait. What I'm going to switch to. Alright, I am going to switch to this KVD Strike King buzz bait right here. So we're gonna try now, nice white chartreuse color. Give it a shot. Now on the same brand here, that was what I caught my uh, personal best bass on earlier this year, and that exact same brand, just a different pattern, different color. I'm gonna try more of a white color this time. Give her a shot. Because the Whopper Plopper just ain't working today. Got one though, so my goal to, to get one on that and one on the buzz bait right here and one on my new life target frog. That is the goal. So, hopefully I reach my goal. I'm one for three so far. Wish me luck. All right, I am back. I have Topwater buzz bait on now. Let's see if we can get one of the buzz bait. We got one of the whopper popper. Now we need to get one of the buzz bait. We'll go out here on the redneck diving board and cast off from there. A little wobbly, but overall it's pretty good. First cast of the topwater buzz bait. These weeds took just took off. Somebody they weren't this bad it's the other day when I was out here. Oh, I should have known this was going to happen. This wrong temperature, wrong time. Just wrong weather conditions for this. The lure that I'm using here. But, you can have a hundred casts of nothing, but all it takes is just that one cast in the right spot in front of the right fish. Ooh. Oh, come on, get up there. Dang it, I got my pole tangled. And one right there. Ugh. Back to me sucking at top water again. I tangled my pole up. 
I want to cast right back there again. Come on, hit it again. Hello, How you just fine, how are you? Had any luck? Caught one so far. Bass? Yeah, bass, probably about one and a half, two pounder. Oh, okay. Yeah. Caught, caught a five and a half that was me. Weeks. Was it you? Yeah, I caught a five and a half pounder over there on a top water buzz bait, yeah. Oh, that was a good cast. Yeah, well, I'm still learning how to use a bait caster. I'm used to a spinning rod and I'm just switching over to a bait caster. I'm getting better at it. I mean, it just takes some getting used to. I mean, I don't know. I like I, I can put, uh, you know, thicker line on it, stronger line than what you can on a spinning reel on some things. Like this is 60 pound braid here. So you can really get it into the weeds and stuff and not you lose your lure and pull fish out of weeds. Yeah, like pulling a five, if I would have been pulling my, uh, Spinning reel that has 12 pound fluorocarbon in it, it probably would have broke my line when I was pulling that one in through the weeds. But, you know, I'm gonna fish this for a few, for a little bit longer, then I'm gonna switch to a topwater frog and then I'm calling her a day. Here, I'm gonna take a couple shots over here. Hopefully, that won't. I'll stay on this side, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You should be plenty far enough away. I just didn't want to freak you out. Oh, that's fine. We just got to, I got you season next weekend. Oh. So I want to make sure my, my uh, slug gut's on for her. She's going to try to get her buck this year. Okay. Last year she got her first doe, so. Well, if you need a European mount, I do, uh, derm I got dermesta beetles. I do taxidermy. Do you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mattskullcleaning.net. I don't have any business cards on me. Uh, out in, in Des Moines. My parents live right next door to the Odies. They live in their old house. Oh, there's one right there. There's one. You got him too. Yeah, I got him. There's one. He's a little fellow, but still a bass. Yeah. Well, he's not too bad. All right. He's not huge, but he's two, two and a half pounder, I bet. No, this guy's less than a pound. You think so? Oh, yeah. He's probably maybe a pound. Yeah, he's little. He's the smallest one I've caught out of here in a long time. So, yeah. Little guy. All right, go on, little guy. Um, you were pretty... Especially for the... I wasn't too awfully concerned with. Yeah. Especially for the amount of work and nastiness it is just to boil one. Yeah, that is kind of a nasty process for sure. Yep. All right, well, good luck, man. Yep, thanks. Have a good day. Well, I think, I think it's time to throw a frog on. I think I'm gonna do one more cast of this spinner bait since we've got one on the whopper flopper so far. We've got one on the spinner bait. We need to get one on the frog. So this is gonna be the last cast of the whopper flopper here and we're gonna put a frog on. Or the, this is the last cast of the spinner bait, not whopper flopper. Let's put my new frog on here. Let's see what we can do with the frog. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, ho, ho, I had him at the... Well, folks, I've been here for a while now, and I don't think I'm going to make the trifecta. I got one with the uh, Whopper Plopper. I got one with the uh, Topwater Buzzbait. But it looks like I'm not going to get one on the frog. My batteries are about dead, and I've been fishing this frog for a while now, and I've had a couple hits on it, and they just... Not really one of taking it too much. I thought I had one, but that was my fault. I didn't set the hook good enough. So I'm going to give her one more cast. 
And then I'm calling her a day. I want to thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button. And I want to wish everyone uh, good luck fishing and have fun. And remember, a bad day of fishing is still better than a good day at work. Come on, bite my frog. I might go one more into this weed bed over here. I'm gonna go right along this edge here. Bounce it right on this weed mat here. Right on the edge here. This will be the final. The final attempt. Well, that'd be it. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck to all of you and a good day.